Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Hey everyone, welcome back to Five, Five Minute, minute eats. eats. This time it's drinks. <laughs> yep, and not only that, it's a regional drink. Yes. So one of the great things about our job is we travel all around the country and every now and then something catches our eye and we're like, wait a minute, we've never seen this before and we're like, mm -hmm. whoa, let's check this out. And we were in Kentucky recently and this was out on display. It was like just calling my name and I had to look and see what this is all about. And sure enough, it's a Kentucky um, soda, soda, something like that. It's a ginger ale with, um, well, we'll read all about it. First of all, what's the name of it? Do you guys know? Yeah. <laughs> Based on well, how it looks? I'll let you read the little description there. Here's what it looks like. Yeah. So it says, best of the bluegrass in the green glass. Say that five times fast. In 1926, my great great uncle Lee introduced a ginger and citrus soft drink like no other at the Clark County Fair. From that day on, the indescribable taste of this bluegrass favorite would be known as a late one or the latest thing. <clears throat> Four generations later, I still blend the secret recipe from Uncle Lee's handwritten notes. Open one for yourself and taste the tradition. Fielding Rogers, fourth generation owner, and that is a very southern name if I've ever Yeah, and you know what I like about this is that the story, uh, he's like, yeah, my great grandfather or whatever, or grandfather started great, this great. brand. Yeah, and uh, uncle, he great, came great up with uncle. the he had he was very hip, so he came up with the hip name. Yeah, and he um, like had all kinds of like hip sayings and stuff like that, right? It sounds mm -hmm. like so it brings to my mind. Um, remember those videos or that video of like the the. I don't know what you call them, hillbillies like dancing to rap music number. You know, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> somebody put somebody put like rap music to like hillbilly like dancing to like uh, you know what Like they didn't know that it was rap music. Well, I mean it, it's like some hillbillies dancing in their like you know uh, backyard or, or, or their house. And it's yeah, dubbed over with rap music and, and, it, and it, the way they're dancing it looks like that. And that's what it sounds like to me here with this brand. It's just like the guy seems so hip. For 19, like 26. 26. So it was a roaring 20s, and mm -hmm. he had to have a ginger ale with citrus in it. Well, for me, I stared at this bottle for the longest time, and I'm like, okay, ale 81. And then I'm like, well, why is the one littler than the eight? Mm -hmm. I, I, the funny part is that it's literally right up here, a late one. Yeah. And I just did not see it. <laughs> so it is a late one. But it just seems weird with the E on the end. But since it's an ale, a ginger ale, yeah. whatever. You guys get the point. So it's ingredients. Carbonated water, sugar, corn sweetener, vegetable, glycerin, ginger, natural and artificial flavors, citrus acid, sodium benz benzoate, benzoate, phosphoric acid, acid caramel, caramel coloring, and caffeine, caffeine. Which you'll have to be careful since Yeah, I can just have a little bit. Yeah, she's pregnant. And it's... Uh, made in Winchester, Kentucky. It's a product of the U.S. I wonder if that is the home of the Winchester rifle. Probably. Hmm. Um, it looks like it's made, sold in Connecticut, Hawaii, Iowa, Maine. No, 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 no. no. The, no that's that's oh, where you can. Yeah, yeah. So that's the recycling thing. <laughs> it's a fourth generation owned family. Mm -hmm. 120 calories, and for the whole bottle. Yeah. Well, oh, I don't know. Oh well, that's not much. One bottle, yeah. I guess that's maybe what a Coke is, though. Right. Yeah, I think so. But anyway, guys, we're going to try it and tell a late you. late one. Yeah. I'm assuming, like, this is, like, you know, this is the backwoods of, like, Kentucky. You've been drinking alcohol all day. And then, like, right before nighttime, this is how you, like, you know, sober up yeah. by having a late one. <laughs> all, we're going to add that clip of the hillbillies dancing oh, and stuff really? like that. So you can imagine what I'm talking about here. But right. here's... Today we've been doing a lot of filming, mm -hmm. we've been doing a lot of errands, yep. so here's to a late one Cheers. for us. Oh, that that's is really, very refreshing. Yeah, it's really, really good. I like it. You know what I like is that, you know how sometimes like 7-Up or Sprite mm -hmm. almost has too much of a bite to it? Like it's, it's like... Harsh on your tongue. This has a little bit more of a sugar, yeah, sugarness to it, and maybe it's because it has like natural sugar as opposed to like, you know, 
When yeah. I heard it was ginger ale, I was like thinking of, uh, what's that ginger ale? Um, Canada Dry? Or is, it what, is that what it is? There's Canada Dry, I think there's something else. Um, you know, Canada Dry, maybe, yeah. I, I'm not a big fan of ginger ale, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't like the taste of it. I'm not a big ginger guy. So when I heard that it was going to be ginger in it, I was kind of, uh, I guess we'll take one for the channel, right? But The citrus. The citrus. Mm -hmm. Boom. Fireworks, man. Yes. Fireworks. I would liken this to, you guys know how Mexican Coke tastes so much better than USA Coke because it has that real like yeah. cane sugar in it. This is almost like what a 7-Up or Sprite would be if it was like Mexican 7-Up right. or Sprite. Yeah. Like that kind of flavor difference. It's very carbonated. Yeah. It's got like that uh, um, carbonation going on in your mouth. You feel like... Uh, you know, kind of burning. Bubbles, bubbles all the way yeah. down. Yeah. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sad that we don't live in an area where we can get this yes. on a regular basis. Because I would buy it. I'd keep mm -hmm. it around the house because it's very refreshing. It is. And I just feel like if, if we had this mm -hmm. accessible to us all the time, because I do like Sprite and 7-Up, yeah. I, would, I would drink this before I would drink that. However, the one difference though is that this does have caffeine in it, where those do not. But it's weird, though, because I feel like most pops, they don't have caffeine if they're, like, clear pop. And they do if they're more mm. like a, a cola pop. So yeah. I wonder, where's the, you know, it's, it's just weird. It's like a mind thing. It's, it's a Kentucky thing, man. <laughs> he was drinking all day, and he's something to sober up and, uh, or wake himself up, maybe. Caffeine. Wake himself up, yeah. Yeah. Um, cause he was gonna go to the after party. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> what do you guys think? Have you guys ever had this in your area? You ever, your neck of the woods? Yeah, your neck of the woods when you're, uh, driving through Kentucky. Did you ever <laughs> come across this? You tried it? Or yeah. do you have friends in Kentucky who can ship this to you? Yeah. Um, tell us what you guys think if you've had this. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, if you live in another state like, um, Iowa or, uh, New York or whatever because we go through a lot of these yeah. states. What is it we should be looking for on the Do you guys the have shelves? a favorite regional yeah. drink? Right. Because recently we went through uh, Pittsburgh area. We tried Permenti Brothers. Permenti Brothers was, you know, unfortunately we didn't like it and we should have done a video on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, we were driving though. Yeah. Like actually driving. And, uh, but we've gone all across the country and we always look out for unique items. So tell mm -hmm. us in your area, what is it we should try? But in the meantime, guys, please hit the subscribe button. Give, give us, us a like, like. And share this video with your family and friends. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Bye, Bye guys.